Okay, I thought I would show this uh, little pulse motor circuit again. Um, you know, I've, I've done these a bunch of times, and uh, I keep going back to them because they're fun. And uh, it's all because of this, uh, this snake egg. This, this magnet here, when it stands up straight and goes around really, really fast, I find that very interesting. So I'm playing around again with this um, little pulse motor circuit. It just uses one of these uh, 2 and 222A and a little switching diode and a rheostat. It's a variable resistor and a one and a half volt battery and then this bifiler coil uh, with a solid cork and a mirror here. And Maggie's going to help me show this today. And I'm also going to use my uh, computer oscilloscope to show the waveform. Uh, this is the model right here. Some people have asked me what it is. And that's the model uh, if you want to get one. They're not too expensive. It's a um, hand tech. A very, uh, very handy unit. Anyway, I found out I could start this on a 9 volt battery if it was fresh. But it's very, very hard to start. And I'll try to do this and uh, give me some time here, see if I can get it to go. It takes a while. So it takes several times usually, but let's give her a go here. you got to spin this counterclockwise, and it flops around and flops around and uh, somehow catches and stands up. But let's see what we can do here. There it goes. There it goes. All right, now let's hook up the scope to it and hit the automatic function over here and let's see what it looks like here. There's the waveform going on right now. I just disconnected this because I'm now going to hook up the uh, the one and a half volt battery before it gets up too fast. And I'm going to adjust this so it gets stable again. There it goes. It's pretty stable. Okay, that's just running on this one and a half volt battery now. I'll take the nine volts away. And that's a rechargeable NICAD, believe it or not. And I did find out that this circuit will run on a NICAD. Let me slow this down a little bit here. Let's take a look at the waveform again here. There it is. That's what it looks like. Very interesting waveform on this. And if you stretch it out a little bit, it uh, it, it will kind of look like an H pattern. Let's see if I can get this to stretch out. Oh, wrong way. There you go. You can't see the big spikes that come off the top here. Usually on the Bedini, uh, you can see a real big tall spike, but it's not showing up on this at all. And let's see if I can get Maggie to help me stabilize this here. Maggie's going to do her thing and slow this down. Maggie's an induction coil with a bridge rectifier. There's nothing fancy about Maggie, but uh, she does make a real good way to see what's uh, going on with one of these little pulse motors. You can see the waveform now over there. Kind of an H pattern. Looks like kind of a Bedini H pattern on the thing. And I'm going to scan these readings. The guys that have these computers can maybe decipher what this is running at. Because I don't have a clue. <laughs> I haven't been able to figure out these darn oscilloscopes. And I used to be able to read them, but not anymore. Even when they tell you what it's doing. So, anyway, I just wanted to show that to you and show... Uh, Show what's going on with this little pulse motor that I've got.
I just I just knocked it and slowed it down. Let me see if I can spin it back up. You can tell by Maggie's eyes when it spins up here. I'll turn her so you can see her eyes. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with people that uh, I'm still playing around with these pulse motors. I get a big bang out of them. And uh, this particular one here with the snake egg on a mirror, I find very interesting. And I took a look at the RPM on the scope, and it's in the thousands of RPM that that's turning up. Now, you can use this scope with the, the hertz that it's uh, cycling per second, the hertz rating. And then uh, multiply that by 60 to get your revolutions per minute. And it's in the thousands. So I thought that was very, very interesting. Here again, that's the waveform. And that's my little experiment for tonight. The little Maggie and the snake egg. Thanks for watching.